Hi, everybody. This is very exciting. Um, we're on all the things. We're streaming live from all the places. The Kingston's have gotten real fancy today. So welcome. We're happy to have you. Um, fingers crossed this all goes well. I see myself. Babe, do you see myself? I gotta grab the iPad. Okay. Don's grabbing the iPad. Um, which one do I want? Which one are you watching? I'm watching the Kingston Crafts group. Um, everyone let us know that you're tuning in. Don's gonna, oh, babe, I see people in the thingy. Mm -hmm. I wish I could, someday we'll do a tour of what's happening here at the Kingston's and how we have all the bells and whistles turned on. Um, so if you guys are here, say hi. So many things. We're going to make cards. We have the overhead camera on. I'm going to give away some goodies. I have a big announcement to make. Um, I'm going to share some secrets about upcoming products. What else is happening? Hey, Carla. Hey, girl. Um, all the things. Babe, we're doing all the things. Okay. We'll get everybody set up. Don's watching. You can hear me? Okay. Don's watching from the iPad. Who's, who's tuning in? Babe, you want to hand me the iPad and you can um, see. We're going to talk to everybody. We're on the YouTube. Debbie, Cindy, Peg, Laura, Chris, Patty, Deirdre. Hi, everybody. Kelly. This is so cool. Okay. This is. And um, I just have my microphone pinned onto my shirt because it's cold here. It was um, hailing and snowing earlier. So, Carolyn, Deborah. Hi, everybody. Okay. We're going to give every. Babe, is it okay if I keep this? Yeah, and you can have that one so I can watch from so many places. Um, hello. Good evening. Is anyone else enjoying a cocktail this evening? For those of you who are new joining us, that's kind of our thing around here is to have cocktails while we craft. Um, I'm having a lovely rosé. <laughs> Actually, it's not as big as it looks. Um, there's some seltzer water in here because I didn't want it too sweet. Anyway, I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. How's everybody's week been? Um, we're going to be giving away four $25 gift cards to the Kingston Crafts website. One on YouTube, one on the Kingston Home Facebook page, one on the Kingston Crafts Facebook page, and one in the Kingston Crafts Facebook group. There's a lot happening. Um, there's a lot of technologically sophisticated things going on here. The, we are going to name the winner on the YouTube channel tonight because in case you guys ever decide you want to go live on YouTube, once the live is over, the comments disappear or you can't read them anymore. So we're going to draw the, um, pick the YouTube winner tonight. Everybody else you have until tomorrow night. So if you haven't been able to join us live, you can and still you can win. Jamie, oh God, Jamie, I love you so much. Um, so, and all you have to do to enter is leave a comment. Say hi, where you're turning in from. If you own any Kings or Crafts products, as if it's your first time joining us, tell us all the things. Uh, okay, we'll give everybody a chance to get settled in. I wanna, if you have questions about whatever you guys wanna talk about, I'm here to talk about it. There are a couple things you're going to need for this um, project. Babe, if you'll flip the camera, look at how fancy we are now, got everybody. What? What? Okay, so we're going to be making these four cards right here, but here's what we're doing. These are cards that our design team made for the HSN airings. I'm going to show you how you can put your own twist on cards um, that you've seen on HSN or that you see in magazines or whatever. So we're doing these four cards. For that, you need an adhesive of your choice, tape runner, double-sided tape, whatever, a pair of scissors, <laughs> and excuse my sad-looking um, foam tape. So you need foam tape, scissors, and... Anna Griffin, I love you so much. Um, I miss Anna Griffin. I was just thinking about you this morning. And it, adhesive of your choice, nice to have if you've got it, is a little X and um, twine. And we'll be talking about my twine issue later on today because this, I pulled this out of my dream box, which we will also be talking about later. Anyway, uh, but that's all you need. And your Kingston Crafts card kit, if you have one, if you don't have one and have the paper pad, you can easily make cards with that. If you just want to play along with whatever pattern paper you've got, you can. Um, hi, everybody. Nicole, babe, let's flip it over for one second and I'll make. I'm scared of technology over here. Um, oh, you did block us off. You... Oh, he's back. We're back. I bumped the mouse. Oh, Don bumped the mouse, everybody. 
I wonder if they could. There, we're back. Listen, Kingston's have a lot going on. And Don's currently drinking bourbon, so that's what I blame it on. Um, hi, Vicki Booten is here. Chastity. Oh, my gosh. Kim. Oh, I love you guys. I miss everybody. Okay. This will, I'll get weepy if I start seeing all the people I love on there. Um, big news at the Kings and Crafts. Starting with the this spring collection, you guys asked for it. We are delivering it. Um, we're now selling the paper individually on our website. So like that big piece of 12 by 12 rainbow paper, if you are obsessed with it and need a bunch of it, you can now buy it individually on kingstoncraftshop.com. I'm so excited. And um, all the florals that came in the big chipboard bundle, if you went through like your light pinks already, you can buy those in um, packs of the individual colors also. So I'm super excited about that. Um, let's talk about the paper dolls for a second because I know you guys are loving them and have been asking for more things. And I can't tell you what the more things are yet, but more things are coming. Um, HSN, we pro I probably should have talked to someone before this because I'm going to spill all the secrets. Don's shaking his head. Anyway. In trouble. Okay. Um, HSN has ordered my Christmas collection and it has some paper doll things that you're going to die for. So that's also very exciting news. So I appreciate you guys loving those as much as I do and being as passionate about them as I am, um, as our whole design team is. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking of that, um, oh, Diana, you're so nice. Diana <laughs> ordered three paper pads. That's, I appreciate you. Um, okay, speaking of HSN, <laughs> I don't like asking for favors. It makes me feel uncomfortable, but you are my people and I need a little bit of help. So if you have bought any Kingston Crafts anything at any time, except the original paper pad, because that's sold out, so we can't leave comments on it anymore. Um, if you would go and leave me a review, <laughs> that would be so helpful. Any Kings and Crafts product you have purchased, if you would leave me a review, that would be so, so, so helpful. It's not something I've ever cared about or thought of. Um, apparently it's important HSN, and also this will surprise no one, people tend to only leave reviews when they're mad. And so there's been some not the nicest reviews left of some of my things um and if you didn't love something i don't want you to leave a you know fake review or whatever i don't need you to do that but if you have products and you love them if you would leave a comment <laughs> on hsn um if you would review the product that would mean the world to me i never thought this would be a thing i'd have to worry about um if you have questions as we go along don kingston is reading all the comments i'm reading comments as i can um, Kim's Kings and Crafts. That, so Kim, a lot of you guys know Kim. She's my assistant at HSN. Um, and we haven't seen each other for um, 14 months now. And that makes me very sad. Um, you guys are the greatest. Yes, I, I appreciate any comments or any reviews we leave. I am grateful. But there's more good stuff coming on to HSN. We've got the individual papers on Kings and Crafts shop. So many good things are happening. Um, and we're giving away four gift cards. So just leave a comment, say hi. Everybody, I'm so happy. Okay. We're going to switch cameras. We're going to start some things. Here we go. Um, so what I would like to do is I, I don't want this to take a thousand years because I know we all got things to do. I'm rolling up my sleeves. This is how serious we are. Um, we'll make, like, we'll do the first three if we got some time. Great. Um, I'm then, right before we leave, I want to show you some of the other design team um, cards that maybe we didn't get a good look at on HSN because once we talk about how to use your stash and maybe put your own spin on things, I think you'll look at these in a whole new light. So I'm pretty excited. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, and let's, let's just jump right in, shall we? I'm so, I'm so, I'm taking, I'm channeling my inner Vicki Booten because um, she does Facebook Lives like every Friday and it, they're amazing. And so I want to be amazing like Vicki Booten because I love her. Because I love her, Vicki Booten, I love you. Okay, this is the card that, this was done by Victoria Marie, who if you guys don't follow her, she's amazing. Um, this used all, this used the uh, plastic fruit from our embellishment 
collection. Um, I am sticking strictly to what came in the card making kit and then talking about what came in your stash. So while I am obsessed with these plastic fruits, I'm not going to use any tonight because I just wanted to focus on folks who got the card making kit. So this is how we're going to put our own twist on it. And this is, this probably makes me not a great salesperson of my own things, but that's, that's something I'm struggling to overcome. Okay. Victoria did the green check uh, gingham and the pink scallop card. I'm going to do, so I'll set this over here. Here, we'll set it up here so we can look at it. I'm gonna do pink on pink because I really love the idea of the green in the middle. So the biggest, I think, pop of wow for your buck is um, foam tape. <laughs> and I feel like everybody probably already knows this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, the reason my stuff all looks so terrible is because I will use it until it is gone, gone. Not just like, oh, I've used all the circles in here. Everything is gone. First of all, tell everybody tell me if you know this already, and I'm the last, I mean, I've known this for a while, but I don't know if I'm showing this. So here's what I mean by that. So yeah, yes, you can use these little pop-up foam things, but I <gasps> cut this up and I use it for big projects like this, like we're gonna pop up this backing because nobody's gonna see it. And it's also foam tape and I don't like to waste anything. So tell me if you guys already know this already. Does everybody know this already? Shemaine is here. Oh, hey girl. Mama Disney ordered two Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love that so much. I, and I, oh, Don, who, Mama Disney, you said? Mama Disney ordered two embellishment kits and I am so grateful for that. And. If you are on Instagram, if you are on, so I'm adding um, foam squares, <laughs> not squares, exactly, foam random shapes to my um, card base. Um, if you are making projects, please tag me, share them in our Kingston Crafts group, uh, message them to me. I love more than anything to share projects other people are making because everyone's style is different and it just makes me like don't ever think you're bothering me or that i don't want to see them i i would come over to your house and look at it if i could i love it so much about 50 50 people didn't realize you were yes the other app are like oh yeah i use every bit oh yeah every bit when i when i see people that like use the circles and then throw the rest away it physically pains me so i have just saved everybody a bajillion dollars it's the greatest thing. I mean, this doesn't look pretty, but who cares? Because it's going to be upside down in a second. Okay. So I'm going to put this upside down on here. I'm going to have to put my glasses on shortly. Let me just go ahead and do that. <laughs> Let's just stop being vain and put our glasses on. Um, do you want me to tell them about that? Sure. So big me here, pop, pop back up for a second as I, as I adjust my glasses. Um, so as most of you know, Don Kingston retired from the military officially today but his ceremony was last week it's been a it's been a couple big couple weeks for the kingsons um he's amazing he's started a new job already he's super excited about that however thanks to 20 years of getting blown up and being around loud helicopters and whatever um don kingston now has hearing aids at age 45. so we're feeling some kind of way about it I think he just looks as cute as a button with him. You can barely see him. Um, he can come around before we leave to show you. But think of think of the Kingstons. We're we're having an interesting time adjusting as as I put on my readers. Okay, let's flip back down, babe. This is what Victoria did on hers. I love the layering. I'm gonna pop up pop a little um, sentiment on here. But I want to talk to you about using your stash because that's why I started this whole company. I started this company because I wanted to make things that mix and match with things you've already got. I don't want you to have to spend a bajillion dollars on every possible thing. And I know this probably makes me a terrible marketer of my own product, but so I wanna show you a couple ideas I have. And this was just pulling things from my stash. So I went into my green and pink <laughs> buckets, which we will talk about in a second. And I found these really cool embellishments. I found these hearts. I found this um, doily. And then I found this little cuteness right here. So I have like 70,000 choices. I could take this doily. I could put this, in fact, I will. I'm gonna take this doily, put this little guy on top of here, or I could just take this and put the one big bow in the center and put a couple words down here. I could put the three, like I could put three big hearts across here. I could fill this with heart. How cute would that be? Like 
this is what I want you to do. I don't want you to feel like you have to use only my stuff and all the time and use all the things. I want you to be able to use these onesies, twosies that are in your stash to create something that you love. So I am going to take my, my Zyron Mega Runner. There's actually two in here. And I want to say these are from Doodlebug. And I know if anyone on here would like to talk to me about um, my poor marketing skills, <laughs> I'd be happy to hear it. Because, yes, I should probably be promoting all my own products. But as a crafter, that's not my jam. Um, and so as a, and I'm actually gonna use this piece over here, um, and get some, get some good stuff right around here. Uh, where are the laces? Um, put it in there so you guys can see it. See? So, oh Lord, guys, I tore it. Good thing I have another one. I'll just throw this guy away. Um, but I, I feel like everybody wants to use a variety of things, right? Nobody wants to be stuck with just one, all right, we'll go gentle. There we go. Gently, Beth, on the doily, gently. Oh, everybody's saying congratulations, son. 15 degrees and snowing in New Hampshire. Listen, this weather can just suck it. <laughs> I am ready for spring. Okay, so I'm gonna take my doily. So I would love to know if you guys are making, um, what you guys are putting on yours. Are you, do you have the stuff Victoria did and you're putting that on? Are you finding your own stuff in your stash? Because I want, like, I, no kidding, have probably held on to this for years, two or three years, um, if not longer. I don't even know how long it's been since I made it. And I know I've had these doilies forever. But that's the thing. I want to be able to use my stuff as a foundation to make other stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out of here. So, yes, I want to know what you guys are putting on yours. Are people doing, I want to see. And by the way, when this is over, I would love for you guys to share the cards you made. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I have to. I mean, look at how cute this is right here. So I'll just pop that guy on there. I mean, so you see now where I get my inspiration. This is the original card. This is going to be my card. And again, I, I am a very clean crafter. I don't use a lot of inks. I, and let me also um, give a shout out again to Vicki Booten. If you guys don't do Vicki Booten's lives and take some of her classes, she does the most amazing stuff with inks and paints and mixed media. And that's the coolest thing ever. Um, anyway, so you need to follow her too. She's awesome. So here's the example. Here's how I'm making mine. And then I'm just going to put this little happy birthday sticker. Carlotta says the runner is the first item I bought from you on HSN. I think is it really? Oh my gosh. Thank you. I love, oh, Carlotta. Sorry. I forget you guys can't hear Don. Um, Carlotta said the, the runner, which is this, is the first thing she ever bought from me on HSN. Thank you. I love that thing. I, I will use that thing until, until it's gone. Okay. So we'll just pop that on. And so I don't want to lean way over it so you guys can't see it, but there. So that was just in a few minutes and that was with me talking. So that's what, I, that's how I look at inspirational projects and make my own. And again, this is using stuff in my stash. I use the base of the Kingston Crafts. I use the little sticker. Voila, we're done. It's so easy. And I could have used the green. I mean, you could just mix and match and use all the things. I love Vicky Booten too. Oh, Vicky Booten, I love you so much. Everybody, so good. All right. On to the next one. Does anyone have questions about this one? We're doing so good so far. Everyone appreciates you using things from their stash. Yes. Okay. So the reason, uh, let's pop back up for a second. Here. <laughs> so now I'll tell you the truth because again, you are my people. The reason I wanted to talk about that a little bit is because, um, what does that mean? Oh, oh, shoot. I've already gone through 20 minutes. I'm going to have to do go faster. We might only get to three cards. Okay. Um, the reason I wanted to do this is because some of the comments on HSN were saying that they, people were like, but I had to go into my own stash to make more cards. That's the whole point of it. So I feel terrible that I didn't maybe say that out loud on HSN or people didn't quite get it. I want you to use the stuff you've already got. I want this stuff to be sort of the foundation and then you use all the other goodies. So I, I, it made me feel sad that people didn't get that. Um, but now I'm telling you because I want to see what you guys are making with your stuff. Okay. Apparently I have to stop yammering about things. 
Uh, yes, change back. Okay. <laughs> Next. And these cards, cards, ugh, cards are sort of a twofer. Um, so this was one piece. This is a different color, obviously. This was one, here we go, of the scallop pieces. And we cut it off at an inch and a half. And these, I want to say, oh, these are also Victoria's. Are these both Victoria's? Sure are. Um, I didn't realize I was using all her kit cards. So she cut it at one and a half inches. And I love that idea. So my idea, so I looked at this one and again, I wanted to use only things from this card making kit collection and stuff from my stash. So you're the zest is a stamp from the stamp pad, uh, the stamp sets that coordinate with this, which I love and there's punny and I think they're hilarious. But if I want to stick to strictly the card kit, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Let me get my runner out. Uh, all right. How's everybody doing in there? <laughs> God love Vicky. Keep yammering. That's what we came for. Um, there's a very delicious homemade pizza upstairs and a 20 year old. She's probably desperate to eat it. So as much as I would love to hang out here all night, I'd probably not be allowed. Um, here we go. Okay. So I've put that down there. Now, I again, <laughs> random stuff in my stash. These are from a company that is no longer in business that tells you how long I have had them and I love them. Um, but again, the greens, you know, because we use different shades of green, I can go ahead. So I want to put that down there. So I just spend a little time maneuvering it around. So see, I took sort of the visual of this across the center, and now I'm going to put this here. And then what I'm going to do is take some of the florals and put them up here. But I wanted to show you how you can take inspiration from seeing we'll do a little something like that, a little something up here. So that's how I take something and sort of run with it with my own, with my own stuff. Yes, Don Kingston. Linda just bought the kit from HSN. Yay, thank you, Linda. And Julie just left a review about the card. Oh, you guys, I appreciate that so much. It honestly never, um, it never occurred to me to that I needed to worry about reviews or ask people to leave reviews or any of those things. So I'm using my um, X, my sticker maker. You could use your tape runner. You could use whatever, whatever you're putting on yours. Um, but I love this idea of putting something sort of broad across the middle. So let me run all these things through. How many people have this thing? This is the, so I think most of you probably know this already. Um, I started in this industry with Xyron and this X, I bought my first X long before I started to work there. So when I went to work there, it was sort of this like full circle, amazing moment. And I was at Zyron for a very long time. Um, like that's how I met Vicki Booten. That's how I met all these amazing people. And then HSN stole me away from them <laughs> um, in the best possible way. And so I still sell um, Zyron on HSN every once in a while, um, but it allowed me to grow. Like yeah. I know Jamie Gore has the X. How many of you remember Jamie Gore from the Facebook Lives Jamie and I um, used to do when we lived in infamous jamie gore is the infamous my infamous friend um here's another trick that i don't know if i mean I'm, i feel like I'm, you guys are all genius crafters i'm telling you things you already know um if you like i ran everything through here now i will they'll stick to my fingers but stay there buddy um i flip everything backwards so that i can place it sort of where i want it before i stick it down because like, I mean, I could do one at a time. Stay there, stay there. Let go of my fingers, stay there. Go, for crying out loud. Um, here we go. I could do one at a time. They're sticking to myself, but here, I'll put them over here. There we go, now we're all coming off. Okay. And another way to do it, I'm just, I'm giving up on these L's. We're just moving, moving it on along. They're sticking to me, Don Kingston. I have been drinking a little bit, but not enough. Um, 
Oh, Maria, she purchased. Oh, this is so cool. Maria purchased all of the items and the embellishments because she lives in an agricultural valley. Lemons, avocados, strawberries. Oh, yay. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to put these on here. But again, you could do, um, if you have a diamond press set, you obviously, you guys know I love uh, diamond press. Um, if you bought some of those big uh, dies that have the sentiments on them, that would look beautiful, something like that. And then you could add the florals or you could add the fruits or you could add whatever tickles your fancy. Um, let me just set these down gently. Make sure they're where I want them. But I want to, here's something else I would like to know. Are you, Vicki Booten and I have had this conversation 17 times. Are you someone who wants to do things exactly like you see them in a magazine or in a class, or you like to do things on your own? Um, I love to have this, Vicki Booten and I have had this conversation a million times because we've taught together a bunch and I'm gonna offset this E a little bit. Um, We've taught together a bunch and some folks, it makes me, it tickles me to no end. Like I will never forget this one time I was teaching a scrapbooking class. Um, and at the, there's a woman sitting in the back and she was very quiet and she didn't ask a lot of questions and she was just sort of doing her own thing. And then at the very end, I walked back and she had made a mini album out of her class kit and it was gorgeous. And she was almost apologetic about it. She was like, oh, I, I'm sorry, you know, albums aren't really my thing, but I really love this collection and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, girl, I, why are you apologizing to me? And she said, um, sometimes people would get mad if she didn't do their class the exact way. Girl, you paid for it, you do what you want to. But um, I love to see people turn, make something out of nothing. Um, and so I love to see people bring their own creativity. But <laughs> however, there are times where, like if it's a, a project project, like say we're making a <coughs> Christmas wall hanging, I am going to make a Christmas wall hanging by God, cause that's what I came here for. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just, so, and again, I think you guys will probably already know this. Know this. Um, if you're going to do layered uh, die cuts or stamps or whatever, I always put the flat one on first and then use um, the foam tape to lift it up. And then and then we'll stick our little leaf down here. Um, okay, here's my next question. Let's see, where do I want to put that guy? We'll think, we'll think about him for a second. I want to put him over here. I think I'll put I think I'll put them in here. Um, what is not out there on the market that you guys would like to see? Or what was on the market years ago that you guys would like to see come back? I feel like crafting has made such a huge, 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 huge comeback during quarantine. Um, like crochet is coming back and macrame is coming back and all these kind of cool things. Is there anything that hasn't come back yet that you guys would like to see come back? Because the other thing too is HSN is always looking for ideas. Um, and I love to tell, I love to tell them what to do, even though they never listen to me. <laughs> but, but you never know. Let's see what everybody's saying. I really, Maria says, I really appreciate the inspiration to get started and add my own touch. Inspiration helps me get started. Yeah, especially at the end of a long day. Yes. That's like, if you put this card kit in front of me and ask me to just make something from scratch, I wouldn't be as motivated. So here's, and I did this quickly. I'd probably move my flowers around a little bit. In fact, I might, might rearrange this leaf a little bit. Um, and I, you know, I'll fiddle with this for another 20 minutes after we're done. But I took my, this inspiration and did something a little bit different, but still with the broad, um, the bigger image across the middle, like we did here. And again, stickers from my stash or chipboard from my stash. So, okay. How are we doing on time, babe? <sighs> I'm at 30 minutes. Okay. Let's do one more card. Um, here, let's flip back up for one second. Vicky says naked chipboard and more mini books. Oh yeah. Babe, let's flick more, like to see more scrapbooking. Yeah, let's flip back over for a second. Um, like to see more scrapping. Sharon, yes. 
so oh like the kits oh are you guys into scrapbooking kits Tell, yes if you guys are into scrapbooking interested in scrapbooking kits say or say yes or no um in the comments because i've actually tried to talk to hsn about that <laughs> and so i would love to hear Ooh, fabric stickers you guys have all kinds of good things um is this on youtube that you end, this one on youtube baby you ended me because it says jamie gore is watching about four thousand times so i love that i don't know what the situation is happening that she's telling me she's watching 4,000 times, but I love it. Okay, we'll flip back. We'll do one more. I'll give you a couple tips on some of the other ones. Yep, let's flip back down. Um, and then we'll let everybody go on about their about their business. We'll name the YouTube winner. Um, okay, so here's another really cool, and maybe we won't even put this whole one together so I can show you some other cool tricks. Okay, again, Victoria. <laughs> so we have this piece of one and a half inch paper in fact let's do that i'll just show you the cool trick with this one and then um we'll do i'll show you the quick tip on this one and i have one more too i'll just show you some tips okay so we take this one we can glue it right on here however um victoria actually used a small piece of the pattern paper from the kings of crafts collection but i want to talk to you about these because I love these and I think they um, deserve all the goodness. So these are stickers and you get three sheets of everything. So you've got plenty. So what I did is, but again, if this is something you're doing on your own and don't forget, yes, this comes with this kit comes with the scallop sheets, but if you bought the paper pad and you have a scallop, um, punch or die, you could make a bajillion of these um, from the paper pad. And so it's great if there's a pattern maybe we didn't do in the kit that you'd love to do, um, love to make a scallop thing. But I lay this on here. I'm gonna, oh, 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 I don't know. There we go. Um, this is actually two of those stickers stuck together and I'm, I left the tabs on the end and I'll show you how to do it um, in a second, but I just want to lay it down here real quick to show you because I actually think I'll do it in green. But the cool thing about it is it lays right over and the, the um, fishtail ends actually lay perfectly you see that over the scallop so you don't even have to trim at the end and i left a little notch right here i'll i'll try to i'll do another one to show you but you can also cut them so the way i did it is you just so this is a really cool way to like add a splash of color so i'm going to take two of my stickers I'll peel this one off and if you didn't want to use these you could also take again using your stash take some washi tape and go across the middle too. And that would that would cover that seam and add like, look at how that adds a little nice pop of color. And then you could just fold it around or cut it along the back. Um, Cause don't we all have a ton of washi tape? Amen to that. What babe? Wendy says, how about a crafting cruise? Okay, Wendy, are, Wendy says, how about a crafting cruise? Are you saying that because you were on the crafting cruise with me and Don Kingston? When we did it, we, Seven years ago. It, it, I don't think it was longer than that. Um, 2014. Was it? Don and I did a crafting cruise and taught for Teresa Collins. I, he's 2014. 2014. Um, holy cow, that was a long time ago. But we had an amazing time. So I would love to do a crafting cruise. I actually have thought about, and this is why I was thinking of Anna Griffin this morning, because Anna throws the most amazing, like legit amazing um, craft treats. And uh, they're called Create, and they're fantabulous, and I could only hope to do something that amazing. And Vicki Booten and I met at a Scrapbooking Cards Today retreat. Is that how we met, Vicki Booten, if you're still on here? Um, oh, God, I miss in-person retreats. So, yes, I would love to get back to all of those things. So, just to give you guys an idea, so you just lay them end-to-end... So you guys, you guys get me all sidetracked on good things I want to talk about. Lay them end to end. And you can either trim, 
trim that if you don't want the little um, extra tail to stick over, but like you re can't really see it. And if you do see it, it's hilarious. And I'm trying to figure out what this is. Like you guys can't really see that on there. And if you do see it, it just looks like a cool added embellishment. And then you just adhere this whole thing down to your card. So that's a cool way to add a pop of color with what comes in the kit. Let me just lay this down here. And then, like I said, I won't do this whole one. Um, but like you could, instead of, again, this plastic uh, pineapple came with the embellishment kit, but I could like throw the lime in there, throw this guy up here and then pop up, you know, the, ooh, there's dog hair, pop up the orange. So it's just, you can use what you've got and also use what's in the stash. And this sort of gives you an idea about where we're going with that card. So that's, that's a cool way to use these as well. Um, okay, let me just show you a couple more, a couple more tips and tricks. 35 minutes, Don says I've been on 35 minutes. You can say the numbers out loud. <laughs> Vicki Booten says we met at, at CHA first. It was, a, that's where I met all these incredible people. Um, okay, next quick tip, again, um, using the little banners, you can actually, these little, how you been doing right here? You can, I'll do another one down here to show you guys. Which one would I like to pick? I'll pick the screen one. These are really cute for making like little flags. You can just tuck them around. Actually, I take that back. First, fold them in half with the pattern facing in so they don't stick to each other so that you can get that nice crease at the end. And then you just flip it around so it's got the fold right where you want it to. And then you slide it in. I'm not going to leave this on here because I don't, I think this is, I think this is Shemaine's. I don't want to ruin Shemaine's geniusness by putting another one on here, but, um, and then you just fold it in half and it will stick to itself. So that's a cool way to add like a little touch of color like she did up here. And we'll just leave that there for this moment. Um, another great thing about these scallops. <laughs> so this isn't even like, this doesn't even begin to address my, um, twine problem. Um, but this is my dream box, a little dream box drawer, which I love my dream box so much. But if you, let's get something that's not such a hot mess. Um, if you take twine, no, we are going to take twine as a hot mess. Look at how, look at how organized I am, everybody. Um, here, we'll just cut this. Where's our scissors? Just so I can use this as an example. The great thing about these scallops is it makes it really easy to wrap twine around because it holds right in the lip. So you're not having to worry about like, is it going to line up? Is everything going to be? And you could do it a couple of times. You could do a couple different layers, but it's nice because you can do it in the middle. You can do it along one side. You can do it vertically. You can do it horizontally. So that's, I mean, just scallops in general, but that's one of the cool things about um, this scallop paper is here. Um, Shemaine did it vertically and here, I think this might also be Shemaine did it horizontally. So that's a really cool way to use. And we all have like a thousand things of twine. Um, okay. Last tip. And then we will wrap this up. Cause I know everybody has things to do. We should do this. We, I want to start doing this once a month. Um, I want to do this with paper. To, let's, let's, let's zap one more time. Click, click the button, Don Kingston. Um, I want to start doing these once a month. We're going to do paper dolls one month. We're going to do chipboard one month. Um, we'll do a scrapbook page one month. Um, if you have suggestions for other things, let me know. I would love to hear about them because I want to start doing these every month with you guys because I love you and I miss hanging out with everybody. Okay. Let's zoom back in one more time or flippy, flippy the switchy or whatever we're calling it. Okay. I feel like almost all of us have rectangle-y dies, you know, the um, nested dies. You can take, and uh, the girls did this on a couple of these, and I'll show you. Take your nested dies, cut it, use it to cut out the center, and then you're getting sort of a twofer. I love the, I think this is Mitzi's. Um, Mitzi cut around the center and then actually cut this out and made it another embellishment. But this is a cool way to extend the life of your um, middles, as they say. Let me find you another one because I know I have it in here somewhere. So here's one where, um, and I think this card she used in another 
maybe for the paper dolls. But this is the center of one, and then she cut out. So this is she just used it as a second as a second little bit. Um, here's one which we talked. Oh, I haven't even talked about this. Um, and I showed this when I did HSN. You just take a piece of paper, and I think we cut it to. I want to say four by five and a quarter. Somebody or four by. Yeah, do you have a ruler? Hold on, everybody. Don Kings is going to get us a ruler. Oh, hey, what's, what's, it, what's it? Large, a large and in charge ruler. Um, so you cut a regular piece of white cardstock to nine and a half by three and a half, nine and a half by three and a half, and then cut out the center. And then you can make an actual card out of the scallop. See, she just glued it onto the front. So that's another cool way to extend this even more and make even more cards. So I love all these great project ideas. Deborah says have once a week instead of one. <laughs> I, I, I need to have a private message with private conversation with Vicki Booten because I said to her a couple times, how do you do this every week? I mean, I would love to do it every week. Um, I just want to see everybody and hang out again. Okay. Real quick, I'm just going to show you a couple more finished projects. So this, oh yeah, that's right. Ha ha, because you guys can see them like I see them. Okay, so this is using um, some of the little floral embellishments from the shaker kit. This is using the stamps um, that go with the we're so glad we're buds and the love you very much and all that cool stuff. And I don't know if you can see, you could sort of get, um, Mitzi just shaded around the outside with the ink pad that comes with. So that's another thing I love about this is, like I said, I'm a, I'm a cleaner crafter, but I love the fact that she just, I mean, look at the, the depth that it gives to that with just a little bit of ink around the outside. So I think that that's amazing. Um, this is one that uses the di a diamond press um, set. So if you've got other stamps and dies, my friends, use them. As I said, I, have, I am an all-inclusive uh, person. Here's one that uses, this is actually paper from the paper pad. And then she, who just, who did this one? <clears throat> Maybe, uh, is this Sonia's? Um, cut fringe, which I think is awesome. And then just use a couple of the florals right here. So there's just so many cool things. This is, um, this is a really cool way to use dies. It just used the background right here. And then she used, I think those are diamond press dies as well. I mean, just look at how cute all this stuff is. So I will, if you belong to the Kingston Crafts group, I'm going to gather as many pictures of these as I can and post them in the group maybe tomorrow night. Um, and by the way, I'll zoom in there. The little pattern paper um, pennants will fit the phrases. So you can use them as like little... Um, embellishments like that way. And, and there's the chipboard because everything coordinates this one. I'm going to zoom in real quick. Um, it's a shaker card. It uses the fruits. Can you see the little lemons and limes? But again, it just uses the scallop. I think this is Victoria's too. Um, cut out the letters or you could cut out, you know, love, or you could cut out whatever. Look at how cute that stinking is. This one, Stop and Smell of Flowers. If you're a beginning card maker, this is your go-to one because Stop and Smell of Flowers is already there. You can slap a couple flowers on there or <laughs> so this is this is my random pink embellishments thing um what's cool about this is you could take uh like i've got a bunch of these flowers lying around don't don't judge what's happening in this tub um but you could do something like that and add those so you can use because everything coordinates with the stuff you've already got at home so you could add a bunch of dimension to that that way also like cute little cheer and i these little um, ovals that we didn't talk much about these, but these are a great way to just add like a little pop of color with the white. Don Kingston is laughing in the corner. I don't know why. <gasps> What's happening? Huh? Not something for oh, okay. Is someone is someone making funny jokes? I want to hear the jokes. Um, Pat missed the first. Said she missed the first twenty minutes. Yep. I'd like to know is this kit still available? So it is. Um, if you oh, and I'm click in the microphone. Um, if you go up to the top, Pat, that describes what the event is, there's a button in there. Um, Casey, card making kits are available on HSN and you can um, click it right there. Um, okay, so you can add little, and again, we've got the foam dots, but I love how this just sort of centers every card because it's got the nice white. You could, if you have great handwriting, which as we all know, I do not, 
Um, and then this one, another simple but lovely card that just uses a couple of flowers. And again, you could go back in, I'll go back in my own little stash right here. If I didn't want to use flowers or if this was for something else, how about throwing a heart on there? How about, I just want you to look at these. Okay, we'll flip yuppie. Look at these as a foundation for stuff you've already got at home that's just been sitting in your tubs. Throw some embellishments on there. Throw some different stamps on there. Use some of the um, sentiment dies you've already got and make some really cool things. I want you to use what you've already got at home and have this just sort of take it to a whole other level. So I, I'm loving this card kit. I hope you guys love it. And I want to see the projects you are making with it because that makes me ridiculously happy. Like nothing makes me happier. So um, share them in the Facebook group. Um, if you're on Instagram, just tag Kingston Crafts and I will see it and I will share it in my stories or on my feed. I just love everything about it. Um, okay. Let us, let me, let me just review the things. Um, we're giving away four gift cards. We're giving, gonna give away the YouTube one right now because once we go away from live, the comments disappear. I'm gonna put a comment in one. Oh, okay. Um, and, in YouTube. and what's the name, what's her name, babe? Miriam Lopez. Miriam Lopez is our YouTube winner. Yay! So Miriam, if you, Don's gonna, Info at Kingston Crafts. If you will send us um, your email address, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Um, Kingston Crafts Facebook group, Kingston Crafts Facebook page, and the Kingston Home Facebook page. You all have until tomorrow night um, to say hi, leave a comment. You can comment on all of them if you want to be entered. Um, and then I will announce and tag the winners um, Saturday. What's today? <laughs> Thursday? Help us. The kings need help. Um, last but not least, um, if you missed the very beginning, the kingsandcraftsshop.com has just released the spring collection, the 12 by 12 papers individually, which I'm super excited about. And part of the reason for that is I'm hoping to be doing a little more teaching. And that's all I can say about that at this moment. So I'm very excited about that. And also we've released the um, individual colors of the flowers from the spring kit, the chipboard flowers. So lots of things going on. Um, does anyone have any questions before we go? So excited. You guys are awesome. I appreciate everybody tuning in so much. This has been really good. Um, every other week, I would love to do that too. Because remember, I also have, um, here's, my, here's the real problem. I have Diamond Press Facebook Lives once a month. I do these Facebook Lives. I'm going to start to do these Facebook Lives once a month. I also have work for clients that I do sometimes Facebook Lives once a month. <laughs> and I get tired of myself, honestly. <laughs> I get tired of seeing myself. So that's my problem. Um, you. Oh, and my shameless begging for leaving a review on Ages and so the mean people don't win. Oh, and before I forget, um, I have shared it. I think I've shared it pretty much everywhere, but if you haven't seen it, go look. Me and Lynn Lilly from Craftbox Girls, Crafty Lumberjacks, OC Vintage Charm, and Weekend Craft, and Heidi Swap are having a $1,200 craft prize giveaway. Um, it ends on the 2nd. There's a link, um, not here, but there's, um, it's on my Facebook page. I think it's in my stories on Instagram. Um, if you can't find it, message us somehow and we'll give it to you. But someone's winning $1,200 worth of stuff. It's a real thing. There's a Cricut Maker in there. Oh, the entire Kingston Crafts Spring Collection is in there, which is like 180 bucks worth of goodies. Um, Heidi Swap's class is in there. All kinds of Cricut stuff. Easy Press Mini. Anyway, it's a good way to enter to win some prizes. Um, okay, Don Kingston is looking at his watch now. <laughs> so uh, apparently I have to go. Oh, come show him your hearing aids, babe. Or show them how you can't see your, your hearing aids. Since if you guys watched um, HSN on Tuesday when Suzanne wouldn't let Don come <laughs> come out from behind the camera. There he is. Hi. See, look, you got turn your head to the side. You can't even, you can see the little back, but, um, oh, if you missed the beginning, Don got hearing aids at 45. Thanks, Army. 44, thanks. Oh, sorry, 44. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks, Army. That's what happens when you get blown up for 20 years. Anyway, appreciate you guys. I had such a good time. I didn't even drink my wine. Um, I love you guys very much. I 
this has been great. And I love all your feedback. I want to hear the kind of products you want. I want to hear what you're loving. I want to hear if you've got any suggestions. Um, we will be back. We will do this next month. We will be doing it from a new studio because we're having our basement renovated. And I can't wait to show you that. It's all going to be good things. Um, that's it. Love you guys very much. Appreciate you. Have a wonderful weekend. Easter. Everybody be safe. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>